Welcome to episode 15 of season 3 here at WLHS 11. On Tuesday, March 26th, Bluebell provided a special treat for all students and faculty at LHS. Some are still wondering what that was all about. Here's Audrey for information. Last Wednesday, March 26th, the LHS choir was randomly dismissed from class with little to no idea about what was happening. Principal Dr. Kitchens asked choir director Hannah Gadd to conduct her choir to sing a song. After singing on the spot, Dr. Kitchens explained what was going on. Bluebell Ice Cream came to congratulate Miss Gadd. They donated ice cream to the whole school while Miss Gadd didn't know about any of it. Sure. Um, probably about three weeks ago, I got an email from uh, Miss Courtney Ginn from Bluebell. Um, she informed me uh, that they always go to schools where there's a teacher of the year for the congressional district and have an ice cream party for the whole school and they wanted to come and do that for our entire school. Big part was to keep it a secret so that for Miss Gadd it would be a surprise at the time that it happened and she said every school is not able to you know keep it a secret sometimes you just have to put it out there and make the plans but we were able to do that so, so it was how? a lot of fun <laughs> and Bluebell wanted to know what Miss Gadd's favorite ice creams were and whether or not she had any allergies like nuts or something because they wanted to bring her a cooler uh, full of her favorite ice cream and so I thought, I don't know how I'm going to do that without, you know, uh, spilling the beans, but Miss Gadd has a student teacher, Miss Janicki, and so I pulled her aside one day and said, sometime in the next week, just casually when y'all are eating lunch or having a conversation, somehow bring ice cream into the conversation and see what Miss Gadd's favorite Bluebell uh, flavors are. So Miss Janicki was able to do that, and as to uh, getting her in the presence of the Bluebell executives to make the presentation. Um, I just told Ms. Gad that we were having a couple of dignitaries come through the county and they were going to just make a quick trip through uh, our school and that uh, Dr. Pugh would like for the choir to come down and sing the national anthem for the dignitaries. And um, so she said, sure, we can do that. Um, I think that that one thing that sets Ms. Gad apart just by circumstance is that she uh, she sees all level of students. So Mrs. Gadd teaches some dual credit. She teaches general music. She teaches students who are very specifically interested in choral music with her choir. She teaches all the way down to the sixth grade level and she even works with the upper elementary special needs students through her choir. So she has this unique opportunity <coughs> to see children literally at all levels from upper elementary all the way to seniors who sing in her choir. Um, she has a lot of opportunities there to affect their lives, not only in choir and through music, but Miss Gadd is a, a bright young lady, a bright young educator. She cares about uh, you know, how they perform in all areas of their life, <coughs> and she has unique opportunities to spend with the students uh, because they do a lot of concerts and trips and things of that nature. One of the things that, I, that makes me most proud <coughs> about her selection is that she was chosen by her peers. And that means that the faculty that you girls have and that all of our over 800 students have available to them, they value everything that we do. And to me, this is like the perfect example that they value the, the uh, arts. They value what Mrs. Gadd does as a part of our overall school, our overall curriculum, and just being anchored to excellence in every way. Who's your dream dinner date? Here's Reese with what some of our students and teachers said would be their top pick. If you could eat dinner with somebody, dead or alive, who would it be? If I could eat dinner with anybody, it would be Cardi B. And because I could. I would eat dinner with, I eat dinner with Khalil Mack because, you know, he's a good defensive end, you know, yeah. I would eat spaghetti with Donald Trump because he's cool. I like to eat dinner with Zac Efron, but when he was Troy Bolton, so um, maybe afterwards we could shoot some hoops and sing some songs. The creator of our universe, I really want to know the point in mosquitoes. Like, I understand that snakes kill rodents and stuff like that, but what's the point of mosquitoes? I would eat dinner with Will Ferrell because he starred in the movie Step Brothers. I would eat dinner with Freddie Mercury because I'd want him to serenade me with any Queen song I wanted. I would like to have dinner with Michael Jordan because he's one of the best basketball players in NBA history and I'd like to talk basketball with him. 
If I can eat with anybody, dead or alive, it'll probably be Jim Carrey because I love his movies and he real funny. He probably make me laugh the whole time. Yeah. Stay right there. I would like to eat a meal with Jimi Hendrix. I think that would be cool. I would like to ask him what it was like to be at the forefront of a musical revolution. Uh, I would, I would eat with Christian Pulsic. He's a soccer player. Kane Brown because I want him to sing one of his songs for me in person. Larry Bird. Just because my dad was a huge Celtics fan growing up and worships the ground that Larry Bird walks on. Auto accidents are the leading cause of death in students ages 15 to 20. Here's Allie to elaborate the importance of safety while driving. Most would say that high school is a fun time for new experiences and learning new things. Around this time, most are getting their permit and eventually their license. Having the freedom to go and do as you want and when you want is a fun experience for most students. If you're like me and many others, picking up your friends to go see a movie or go out to eat is the highlight of the week. But with all this fun and prom right around the corner comes the responsibility of taking just a simple two seconds to buckle up. We talked to students and teachers who've had personal experiences with the consequences of not buckling your seatbelt to get the inside scoop of the importance of being safe while driving. And my hope for every student that comes through my program is that they get a sense of uh, how important it is to be driving a, uh, a machine that weighs thousands of pounds and being responsible for that machine and uh, being safe while doing so. I've had uh, quite a few people that I've, I've known in my time that have had accidents uh, while not wearing their seatbelt. You know, the big myth that people have now is that um, they're scared that they will get trapped in a vehicle if they have their seatbelt on. Well, the statistics prove otherwise, that you're way safer if you do wear your seatbelt than if not. And uh, there's a great chance of getting ejected from a vehicle if you don't have your seatbelt on. Hey, they were driving down the road and went into a ditch because there was another car on their side. And two of my friends that were in the car, they didn't have their seatbelts on. And when they went into the ditch, they went into the air and Harley came out the window and the other guy came up because he didn't have a seatbelt on and broke his neck and the car landed on Harley because they didn't have their seatbelts on. Wearing a seatbelt can save your life. It, if they would have had their seatbelts on, they definitely would have lived. My advice to any new driver that's starting out beginning to drive is stay away from distractions. Uh, turn your radio down, put your cell phone away from you. Uh, I say it all the time in class, it's not good enough just to have your phone down in the cup holder because at the same time you hear it uh, and you may even feel it and that will take your focus away from the driving. It's the topic everyone's been talking about for the past two months. Here's Allie with what some of our students are most excited about for prom night. It's prom week. We talk to students around the school to see what they're most excited about with prom being right around the corner. What about prom are you most excited for? Um, it's my first time, so I'm excited about dancing with my friends. What about prom are you most excited about? Just going and hanging out with all my friends and spending time with them. What about prom are you most excited for? The after party. Yeah. <laughs> what about prom are you most excited about? I'm most excited about dancing with my friends and my boyfriend. What about prom are you most excited for? Mostly dancing, just show, show, show all my moves, all, all the time. Just like I did on the formal, I'm gonna do the same thing at prom. Show me some of your moves. All right. All right. Well, I can do the Michael Jackson now. That's how good too. Whoa! It's actually really good. <laughs> what about prom are you most excited for? Uh, Probably just dancing. And is there anything else that you would like to add? Um, yes, follow me on TikTok, leave on underscore lot 12. All right. The weather's still getting a little warmer. Here's Sean with a weather update. Sean Bowen with the weather here. We're going to be having a very warm and rainy weekend with Friday starting at a high of 75 and a low of 54 and a 20% chance of rain. Saturday that rain moves in even more with a 40% chance of rain and it gets slightly warmer with a high of 78 and a low of 61. Sunday is about the same with a high of 79 and a low of 61 and a 50% chance of rain. And going into next week we'll be having similar rain and temperatures. Here's Laurie with a view into the world of sports here at LHS. Tennis is 5A district champs, where they won over Grenada 5-2. The first round of playoffs will be April 12th versus Cleveland Central. Baseball is 10-8 and 3-2 in district. 
On the 26th, they played Sotelo and won 10 to nothing in five innings. On the 29th, they played Sotelo again and lost four to nine. They played West Point on the second and won seven to one, where Foster Westbrook pitched a shutout in his six innings. They will play West Point again Friday the 5th. Softball is 8-7 and seven and 1-1 one and one in district. They won 13-3 in their annual pink out game versus Oxford. They picked up two wins versus Satillo 5-4 and North Pontotoc 4-1. They lost to Center Hill 6-4 and they will play West Point on the 4th. Our girls golf team won their match in New Albany. Sarah Pittman shot a 49 earning her second medalist and Ada Grace Everett shot a 52. I'm Laurie Branch. Thanks for tuning in to the ship. Thank you for joining us this week here at WLHS 11. We hope you join us next week for an episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I was going to say the 29th, but it's the 27th. It's today. <laughs> Class, with little to no idea about what was happening. Whew. <laughs> I'd, pro <laughs> I'd probably eat dinner with, like, I don't know, The Rock or something. You no, I'm not going to say that. Sorry. Okay. I'd probably eat dinner with, like, Zac Efron, but, like, when he was Troy Bolton. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Okay, be safe at prom. <laughs> we talked to students around Lafayette to see what they're most excited about for prom. <laughs> my first time, I'm so excited for dancing with my friends and stuff. All right, we have to do it again because it has Oh my God. <laughs>